Hi, I'm Scott, I'm the CEO of GitButler. This is a quick demo of the new Agents tab in GitButler. So essentially the Agents tab is a wrapper and a manager for the Claude Code agent. So let's check it out. So this is my GitButler client. I, you can see I already have a branch where I'm adding likes functionality to this sort of you know Twitter clone that I have here. Um, so I have a couple of files that are committed into this, into this commit here. Now let's say that I want to add some tests for it and I wanna use Claude Code. So what we can do in GitButler now is we can go to the new Agents tab um, and we can ask Claude to write tests for us. Now, since we're on this branch, it's going to commit everything that it creates at the end of each task to this particular branch. But what's really cool is that while it's doing that, we can also add a new branch and we can have it do something else. So I happen to not have a readme here, so let's ask Claude to write a quick readme for this project. So we'll fire that off and we can also go back and see how this other one's doing. Now, you'll see that as it created to-dos, it puts the to-dos in the side and you can see where it's going. Um, you can also see that it's wrapping the tool calls. So if we open these up, we can see actually which what the tool calls are doing, what the responses are, um, but it'll kind of hide them for us until we wanna take a look. So this one's going and we can go back and see how this readme one's doing. So you can also see in here that we can choose different models uh, we can actually put it in different thinking modes. You can also see that you can put in templates. So we have a couple of different templates that'll sort of produce most of the prompt for you in case you're doing something over and over again, and it's fairly easy to add new ones. Okay, so at the end, we can see that it created this likes controller test here. We can go back to our workspace and take a look at it. So here we can see it added a new commit, right? When it was done with the call, um, it created a commit message for us in case we wanna edit that and it added a new file uh, that tests this controller. We can also see that this readme is going as well, has created a commit, and it's created two files in here, a license file and a readme. Let's say that we don't wanna do that. So let's click on this, go back to our context, and we can ask it to put it together. Now you can also see here in the top that per branch, it counts how many tokens that you're using and how much essentially in Anthropic each branch is costing you. And you can also see over in the side, uh, in the bottom corner, that as it's updating its to-dos, it's updating the to-do list, right? So we had some to-dos before, and now since it has new to-dos, it's overwritten them. And we can see where it is in the new process. So now let's take a look at what it actually did, right? So here is the branch. You can see that it named uh, the branch. So we started with a default name, and when it figured out what it was doing, it created a name for it. Um, we can also see that now it's created a new commit where it's removed this license file um, and just sort of modified the readme. Now we actually don't want two commits, so let's let's just go ahead and squash these together. And now we have sort of one with just the readme. The license stuff is all sort of evened out now. We don't we never had a license file in there now, um, and we can go ahead and create a PR on, on GitHub and, and push that. And the same for this add likes. We have a new commit with a new commit message that GitButler made after Claude code was done. And we can keep it as two different commits or we can squash them together into one. Every single task that you do is going to end up with a new commit. And we can create a PR on GitHub for this as well um, that's going to be completely independent from the other branch. And at any time, we can always click on this to go back to the context and keep adding to the context. Or we can create new branches and have Claude code work on those branches instead. So that's a demo of the new Agents tab in GitButler. Uh, go ahead and download it from gitbutler.com today. You can try it out. Just you know, throw an agent on a branch of yours, create a new branch, have it work in the background, whatever you want. Um, it's a really, really nice way of working with Claude Code. Enjoy.